we're back um so let's see where the camera is okay so most of you know i am not a rich youtuber It's hot today. Uh, today it is 105 heat index in Mississippi, so it's very humid too. So it's it's pretty hot today. Uh, but what I want to do today, I noticed this winter that my speedometer cable did a little bit of jumping around, and it dawned on me I've never done anything to the speedometer cable on this project truck. I didn't do anything to it and I've had one on the shelf, a brand new one for a long time, so I thought today would be a good day, even though it's 105 outside, that I would uh, tackle taking the old one off and putting the new one on. And while I'm doing that, you know, a lot of you guys are breaking your speedometer cable by putting in the tachometer and stuff, so I'm going to show you exactly how to route it. Uh, it should be pretty easy. So this is what I did first. Get it up on some ramps. Or you can jack it up and put it on some jack stands and the reason is we're under the truck now and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and undo the speedometer cable from the transmission and what this does it just allows us to pull the gauge cluster out a lot more easy and you'll see what I mean here in a few moments so I think all we're gonna need for this job is a pair of pliers to undo it from underneath the transmission and this just to take off the the gauge cluster and it just simply unplugs from the back of the gauge cluster so I got a brand new one uh, you know some guys are having trouble finding these for your truck but actually the uh, the one for the RX-7 uh, I think it's an 87 RX-7 is the exact same one that goes on the pickups so I'll put a link to this the part number in the uh, video description down below if you're watching youtube it's down below you know video description that's where all the goodies are plus on the mazda mini trucking.com website we have a parts list i do have it listed there because stuff like this happens so i forget the part number but it is on the website so this should go right into transmission it's keyed and then this course goes right in the back of the uh gauge cluster so Let's get to it. Let's see. I disconnected it underneath, and of course, it's got a couple of plastic things that go into some places to keep it still. But um, you know, you can see down there it's disconnected. So what I want to do now is go inside, pull the cluster apart. I'm going to pull this grommet out, and then everything should go pretty good. You've probably done this a time or two, so we'll probably speed this video up. Okay, now since we uh, unhooked it, hey, since we unhooked it from underneath the truck, it ought to be easy to pull the cluster out to where we can get to it really easy and unplug it. Unplug the speedo cable. So now, oh yeah, just comes right on out. I don't really have to unhook any of the wires. I'm just going to push, and I do believe it's uh, let's see. Oh, how does it go? Push and pull. Oh, I think it's that one. It's greasy. Apparently, I did work on it before, but it's just old and tired. So, set that to the side. Both of my trucks came with a standard gauge cluster, and of course, I upgraded them with one with a tachometer. This is where the original cable came through, and it went directly in the back because the speedometer on a regular gauge cluster is right in the center. But if you put in this kind, 
and the uh, speedometer is offset, it's over to the left, that's where the cable needs to be. So you need to, it's going to be hard to see. It's hard to see. But what you're going to have to do is route it around this. Let's see if we can get up in there. You would come from, you'd poke it through there. If you have a, of course you're going to have a speedometer cable, and it's going to probably be right here. So what you'd have to do is get you a coat hanger and make a small hook on that end of the coat hanger, push it backwards, hook it, and pull it over to the left. Where did it go? Here it is. To the left. To the left, to the left. And that's how it works good and without ever breaking. The only reason I'm replacing mine is because I saw it hang a little bit. Um, this one actually has 400,000 miles on it, so it's time to replace it. This truck had 400,000 when I got it, until all the good stuff happened. Let's we'll see how much trouble this is going to be. No trouble at all. All right. So I know we're gonna. I gotta try to somehow get this off. I'm gonna want to use it again, but I don't think it's coming off. Somehow it's made that way on there. Same for this. I would like to get that off of this one, and I'm also a little bit worried about getting this off the grommet and putting it on the new the new cable. I may have to just cut it in half, put it over there. It'll still work and it'll still be a little tight in the firewall. But I'm making stretch it. We'll see. Now I'm going to work on trying to get the grommet off. Really want that grommet. Okay, we weren't able to get everything off the old cable, uh, but what I'll say right now is the old cable's not trash yet. I'm going to keep the old cable until I know this works really good. Um, what I'm doing now is I've noticed that while I'm messing around with it, the uh, cable wants to just go willy-nilly on me. And until I get this hooked up to the transmission, I'm going to keep it still. I don't want nothing to happen. So I'm just going to keep it still for now until I'm, while I route it and everything, so it'll be still. Alright, so we're going to go route it and do the reverse. We're going to start at the, the gauge cluster, put it all back together, go, on, you know, go underneath, hook it up, take it for a test spin. We're back. Um, so, let's see where the camera is. Okay, so most of you know I am not... A rich youtuber so I use my Google pixel to record all my videos and it is so hot today that the phone actually said hey it said it on the screen just a second ago device too hot may affect video quality so if the video quality sucks I'm sorry it's just 105 degrees but uh, I wanted to show you a lot of times I use a uh, headlamp because right now it's kind of dark in there and some of the simplest tools are the best so we're going to fish that uh, speedo cable to the left. So, see where it is. Oh man, it's all back in there somewhere. I poked it through. Uh, you know what? I'm just probably going to have to... It's not a big deal. And I don't want to hurt anything, tear up anything. So let's just unplug all this. They only go one way, right? All right. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, it's pain. You can kind of see, I think back there is the, the hole coming through the 
the deal and uh, there it is so I'm gonna pro you're not gonna want to watch all this but what I'm gonna have to do is probably get under the dash poke it up some to where I can get it to come out because basically it's got to come out right there right there through that hole it's got to come out right there now you can see what I'm talking about the tiny hole back there it's really not tiny it's just there's a lot of some kind of fabric or it's vinyl right there that vinyl is in the way I don't know what that vinyl is doing but it's in the way Let's see hang on see what I'm saying this vinyl is in the way it caused a whole lot of headache but it's got to go through that hole so yeah got to move stuff around and pull it to the left you see it's got to come out to the left okay this is difficult but this is an under the truck shot uh, so zoomed out as far as I can be the plastic that went there I could not take it off the old cable so what I'm about to do is take the tape off and hook it up right there that should look familiar to you I got it in this was hard to, to record and do just make sure it, it is keyed and kind of check the orientation make sure it goes in really good mine went in I mean I, I kind of lined it up and it went in so easy I'm a little worried about it but I think it's fine so line up the two key marks the key with the transmission and then the key that's in the cable push it in it'll go in really good and just tighten it up and then right here of course I couldn't get the plastic off the old cable so I just put it in there and kind of crimped it a little bit I got my grommet in, no problem. Cable goes down through there. That piece of plastic fits pretty loose. And I turned it around and fitted in the other piece of plastic. So I hope it doesn't come out. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Oh man, okay. It's all put back together. It's hot. It's humid. I mean, if you want to know what this feels like to film this video today, uh, just go to your nearest gym that's got a sauna. Uh, go in there. Get it pumped up to about 110, 100%, and I'm talking 110 Fahrenheit, and then make it 100% humidity, and you'll get an idea of what it's like to do what I did today. I'm um, going to go for a quick ride, see how it does, and then when I get back, I'm going to have to hose out the truck because there's sweat all over the place. I went for a ride, and uh, the very first thing it did, I was worried. Because the speedometer was going like this just 10 as soon as I got off the ramps I mean it went to 10 20 10 I'm like oh god what what's what's going on I don't know maybe it was you know it's a long spring tight spring maybe it was winding up I don't know uh, but by the time I got to the end of the driveway and I hit the road it was acting right I went on down the road and stopped, and it started going down just perfectly, and then it took off and it crept up perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It works. works great. It's just like before, only it's new. So maybe this winter, it won't do any kind of herky-jerky mess, and, uh, you know, it's probably just good. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video and the part number really I should say on part number the link I mean you can I'll, I'll put you a link in there to rock auto that's where I found it I'll put the part number you can probably get it on Amazon I'll put that on there in there uh, but look in the video description for all of the you know hey you want a headlamp I'll put it in the description of the video a link to it uh, you want a coat hanger made by me message me I'll see I'll see about sending you one all right, here's the part of the video where we do some kind of weird outro and ask for likes and subscribes. So I'm going to do that. You know what to do. If you like the video, click like. If you've never been here before and you want to uh, see more, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, pass it around. Throw it in forums. Get everybody here. I need to get my numbers pumped up. I've only got like 97,000 to go before I can get one of them fancy YouTube plaques. So help me get there.
Maybe. I'm gonna pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. 